yeah, Peacegrave. Rich will want that. Hey, Rich! Rich! We got Peacegrave in! Jack's been good enough to bring it in here because uh, I guess you assumed I wanted to have a look at it, which yeah. is exactly what I want to do. I've been really looking forward to this. Sam, why don't you tell everybody about the game? Right, so this is Beast Gravy. It is the new culinary expansion for Warhammer Champions. Age of mm, no, 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 let us stop you right there. It's not. No, Sam, this says, is... It says Beast Gravy. No, this is Beast Grave. It's an E, not a Y, is it? This is the latest expansion for Warhammer Underworlds. Oh, yeah, it does actually kind of say that on the side. All right, well, all right, well, this is Beast Grave. So, well, let's, uh, let's crack it open and have a look at it. Do either of you guys play much of the Underworlds game in the series? Uh, we've played Shadespire, and uh, we've definitely had a go at the, ni uh, the Night Vault as well. Yeah. Uh, I liked the expansion that Night Vault brought with the magic. That was very interesting, and then all yes. the new warbands was fantastic. I do enjoy that. I've got an Eyes of the Nine warband myself, which is uh, quite fun, if not difficult to play. Well, Sam, so, you know, you're a pro at this. Why don't you tell us what's in the All Alrighty, so first of all, we have the another new uh, battle mat. So this will be the next one. Uh, it features lots of interesting bones and things. We've got tokens, as, as comes standard in most of the underworld I'm sets. sure I gave that to you to open there. Yep. <laughs> 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 Then we have the rulebook, which I'm not entirely sure if there's anything new, I don't think so, but that'll give you everything you need to play Warhammer Underworlds and this new expansion Beast Grave. Let me have a look at the rulebook while you two crack on with the unboxing. And then we have the two new warbands. So in this one we have the Kernothi, I think they're called. That uh, is correct. That's the Wood Elfy types, yes. Yeah, and we've got a cool centaur and lots of sort of half centaur y goaty beasty men. And then we have even beastier beasty men. Who are the Ungors and Gorgors? Ungors? Ungors and Gors. just Gors. And Gors. And Gors. Yeah. Gors. Gorgors. Gorgors. Gravy Gors. Gravy Gors. Uh, yeah, so these are the new beautiful warbands, and I think they've really done outdone themselves oh. this time. So that's lovely. So even though it is technically an expansion, straight back to the Learn to Play book to start with. So you don't have to buy anything else, you just need that. There's some gorgeous uh, mats. These are always nice, these boards. These are very, very nice boards. Nice to be uh, a big graveyard. Yeah, so or these are they're double sided like, so that you can have Yeah, any. just like the normal um, the other under, Underworlds uh, mats. So you basically use one, one half and one half, and each one is the, the territories for the various factions. Uh, and it's, they're double sided, just like always. So is this not in the Mirrored City anymore? Uh, no, it's this really not. This is, in fact, the Beast Grave. Ah. So those who are interested in reading the story will know that the first two were in the Mirrored City. Uh, that was the first one, which was the Mirrored City, and that was the Night Vault. Oh, oh yes, the Mirrored right. City or not. Might be part of it. I have to admit, I'm not very up on the lore of uh, Underworlds. Well, those I mean, of you who do want to read, which I've played it, it's all in the book that comes with it, the rule book, specifically for this one. Yeah, and then you, of course, as the usual, you get the different cards. Now, this comes with three, three packs of cards. You have the standard uh, beast mob cards for, ah, oh, that's what they're called, Gashrex Despoilers, mm -hmm. and uh, Scathe's Wild Hunt. Scathe? Scathe? Scarf? Scathe? Scathe? Uh, scathe. I believe that's Scathe. Uh, scathe. Yeah, so then you have the two standard packs, which will allow you to uh, just play them straight out of the box, uh, adding, a lunch, bunch of new uh, adding a bunch of new specific cards for the Wild Hunt and the Despoilers. Uh, but they will also give, I imagine, give a fair few number of cards that you can use for other decks and other warbands as well. Definitely they will be. And then you also get a set of extra cards, which advises you to open after you've after you played a few games, which will add lots of more generic cards onto into your packs that you can mix in and use as the game progresses. Yes, a rebel. <laughs> so clearly, open in the I want to have a look at what new cards they brought while you guys have a look at the rest of it. And of course, always the most important thing in any game, dice. 
In it, you get the uh, magic dice, the defense dice, and the attack dice. Uh, yep, and we, we, it also includes a fair number of baggies, which I'm pretty sure are for pre-mixing ingredients before you actually make your final dish. No okay. granules, though. No <laughs> granules. <laughs> uh, then what else we have? A little, tiny little art card. Which what is it? Some sort of thing. Scan to read. Sample chapter three. Oh, it's, oh, it's, oh, it's for the book. Oh, so if you are into your lore, there's a sample chapter. Oh, which apparently I need to read because I clearly didn't know what the heck was going on. So. With these cards, people who play the game will know that um, you have specific symbols on the cards to let you know whether you can use them with specific warbands, and then there are generic cards. So the reason I just ripped that pack open was I was interested to see what kind of generic cards they are. So ones that are for scoring points. Um, so it looks like there's quite a few new cards so in here. Use, uh, score for your spoils, and then yeah. also what one that you can use for your faction to do certain abilities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's quite a powerful one. This one, Denial, uh, score in the third end phase if there are no enemy fighters in your territory. So, you know, if you're quite an aggressive player, a couple of those. There's going to be cards in here which for competitive players are going to be must-have cards uh, that you won't be able to get in other packs, I would imagine. I haven't seen some of these myself before. Um, yeah, objective holding cards. Um, then more specific to the warbands. Most of these appear to be warband specific. No, just I think they are just expansion ones to help anyone that gives this as a starter set. Yeah, so you can actually tweak your warband to your own playstyle mm -hmm. or how you prefer. Uh, yeah, and then there's quite a few little. It's the gambits, the upgrade cards, um, push the standard ones, sidestep. So stuff that's already in the game. So this is by no means a game-breaking load of new cards that have come with this that you have to have to have unless you're really competitive by the looks of it. So that's cool. What have we got here? So we've got three sheets of tokens, which gives us the ones for if they've moved, attacked, all the spoils to see what you can do, uh, in, as well as the objective markers. These are double-sided. Nice quality card with these. Yeah, all those parts say they're even better than the original ones, but they're very, very nice. And it gives you a bit more variety for your uh, tokens, and especially if you want to use these two new warbands, which I imagine you do. <laughs> if you're buying the set, probably. You're not just buying it for the cards. Unless you're really hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> so, I can, that looks like it's it. That's what's nice about this game. It's really quite simple. Isn't yeah, it? it's the new Underworld, it's the next Underworld set. It will be become legal for tournament play soon, as soon as it gets released, I imagine. Uh, and also gives you the new, like said, the new boards, uh, new tokens, and I think the main focus is probably these two new, really, really cool uh, factions. Also, you want to get the Sigma, right? Uh, yeah. Yes, I imagine they'll they have always stat have, blocks. They always have a Sigma rules included for each faction warband. Yeah. So, if you are a... What faction do they, are they the tree people? Uh, Beastmen and tree people. Yeah. yeah, so they'll be part of Beasts of Chaos and Sylvaneth, respectively. Yeah, so Beast Boys and Tree Men. They're quite different Sylvaneth looking characters, aren't they? They're a bit different from what you're used to. So they're based on the newest ones called Kanafi, which have recently come into the uh, story of the uh, Sigmar. Yeah. So that's cool. So they're very, uh, a bit more humanoid looking, I would say. Yeah. Well, not humanoid. So, so they seem to be more of a mixed between Beast and Wood Elf yeah. as a whole. Okay. That's cool. They look very cool. I love this sort of like, not centaur, what, what would you call that? That's definitely a centaur. It's a not, not, beast. not like a dryad? Is that uh, a centaur? Uh, centaur? Dryads are tree people, that's a centaur. Yeah, and the centaur rest is of them the are bottom part. It's the prancy, pronking one. So we've got like a centaur leader and then these other guys are like uh, yeah, satyrs? What am I thinking? Satyrs. Satyrs, right. yeah. Is that what it is with the uh, like goat legs? Get like boys. Like Mr. Tumnus. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, if you, so if you ever wanted to play Mr. Tumnus, or Mr. Tumnus's uh, very evil relatives, yeah. uh, then this is definitely the set for you. The Black Sheep of Narnia. Which I'm sure will be the next release. <laughs> you heard it here first.